Very short video is uh, from chapter number nine of Mr. Alexander and Sadiku's book. And one student has requested this question. Apparently, it's a very, very simple question, but this diagram looks uh, slightly difficult or puzzling for a simple student. So let's see. What I have done is I have read, uh, marked these um, Z elements as shown here. So I have written them Z1, Z2, Z3. And also I have marked these two terminals as A and B. Now if you look carefully, these two terminals are connected, the short circuit is connected. So we can draw another equivalent diagram. So Z1 and Z2 are connected from the top from here. And also from the bottom, they are the same points, so they're connected. Similarly, Z2 and Z3, Z2 and Z3 are connected, and Z3 and Z4 are connected. So basically, uh, these impedances are in parallel, so we have to just find Z equivalent from here. Now, when there are more than two elements in parallel, we try to solve two at a time. So here also I'll, I'll solve the first two, Z1, Z2 in parallel, and then Z3, Z4 in parallel, and then the, the result in parallel to get the answer. And we'll use this formula. I hope you remember that when two uh, elements are in parallel, it is R1, R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So in case of a Z, it will be something like this. Z1, Z2 divided by Z1, Z2, similarly the other one. Now we'll plug in the values of these elements and we'll solve using our calculator in complex mode. Solving this, we get this answer and similarly the second part, we get this. And again, we'll solve them as parallel elements, same formula. So, multiplication at the top and addition at the bottom and solving you will get this answer so let's see how to use your calculator in complex mode so first of all clear everything your cal calculator should be in complex mode if it is not go to mode switch two for complex so press two now it is in complex mode so i'll just show you just this portion and i hope you can follow the other one this is numerator denominator portion so we'll select this numerator denominator options and on the numerator we have one minus j so i'll put bracket one minus i use i for j bracket close and the second is one plus j2 bracket one plus two I make it close, come down, bracket one minus j that is minus i plus one and plus j two that i make it close head equal sign. So this is the answer. But this is in fractions, we'll put press SD button to get a more uh, clear answer. So it's 1.4 minus 0.2i. So you see 1.4 minus 0.8. And similarly, I hope you can do this. And then following the same technique, you can get the final answer. But I'll show you another technique, which is simple, I, I guess. And that is, you'll use this formula, 1 over RT is 1 over R1, 1 over R2. Actually, this is the admittance formula that we have to use. But I'll keep it simple. I'll just write it like this, that 1 over Z1 is 1 over Z1, 4. Plug in the values, and then we'll use the calculator uh, to solve this. And our answer should be this one here. So let's go to the calculator, clear, and first part, we'll use the division 1 at the numerator, 
and 1 plus j at the denominator so 1 minus i move ahead plus sign second one same box 1 at the top divided by 1 plus 2 i move ahead plus sign 1 divided by j5 box 1 j5 of i move ahead plus sign box 1 down 1 plus 3i move ahead equal sign so this is in fraction plus sd so the answer is 0 0.8 minus 4i 0 0.8 minus 0 0.4j now we have to find z equivalent which is inverse of this that means z equivalent is 1 over inverse 1 over this value and again you can use the calculator to find the answer there is a simple way also if in the calculator we just take the inverse sign here press the inverse sign the answer was already stored here so inverse of the answer and we get this value press sd it is 1 plus 0.5 i 1 plus 0.5 j i hope you have been able to follow this thank you